What's up muscle car people? This is Bringing Muscle Cars and I'm Matt and we got Jerry with us and we're gonna show you a one-of-a-kind pretty cool car. Okay. This is an Ultima GTR. It's a kit car from England. Uh, muscle, muscle heights would say the LS3 is what really makes it a muscle car, but it's kind of a sports car with a muscle uh, car feel. Rear wheel yeah. drive and uh, go for it. So how long have you had the car? Uh, I started building this 11 years ago. I spent uh, six years building it. Right. After that six years, I've been driving it now for this is my fifth year driving it. I love driving the street. I put about three, four thousand miles a year on it. That's pretty good. That's a lot more miles than I put on my car. And sucking up high test gas. Right. Love it. But it's fun. You're running 93 or E85 or what this, are you running? This car, the engine is designed for 91. I run 93 in it. Oh, nice. Uh, it has no cats. Mm -hmm. um, being a specially constructed vehicle in Pennsylvania, I don't have to meet emissions. Okay. So all I have to do is meet the safety standards. Okay. Now, was it hard to get it inspected and registered because it is a kit car? No, not much. It was, um, you take it to a specially, uh, 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 an enhanced inspection station. Okay. And there are some of them around that are state inspection stations, but they have an enhanced inspection station. Those are the guys who um, inspect reconstructed vehicles. Okay. And get them back on the road to certify they're safe. And they do the same thing you do to a reconstructed vehicle. They take pictures of the suspension, mm -hmm. motor mounts, some of the things they feel might be, you know, right. shaky in right. a car, and they send all those pictures in to PennDOT, mm -hmm. and if you're lucky, they'll send you a title. Oh, the nice. nice thing, the worst thing about that, is that right. when you send it in to PennDOT, they want you to prove you bought everything. Okay. So I bought this from England, didn't pay PA sales tax on it. Mm. But before they would give me a title, I had to pay PA sales tax on everything. Right. And. Uh, I have about eighty-five thousand dollars invested in it, right? And about fifty-five thousand of that I had to pay sales tax on to get a title. Oh man, that was ugly. that's a lot. That's a big check to write that one time. That's ugly, right? Now, why did you choose the motor that you chose? Uh, I work for Chevy. Okay, um, so I'm a Chevy guy. Sorry for those that I've offended, but um, the LS3 is like one of those bulletproof motors. Mm -hmm. You can just beat it day in and day out all the time, running against the rev limiter. It doesn't care. And uh, I wanted something because that's the, my driving style. Mm -hmm. Now, is that a Porsche uh, transmission? Actually, the kit was designed for Porsche the transaxle. You flip upside down, yes. you put a breather kit on it, yada, yada, yada. Uh -huh. I really didn't want to hassle. They had to use a Porsche clutch. Okay. And I really didn't want to hassle. So I contacted the company, Mendiola Incorporated. They're in California. They build these transaxles for sand buggies. Hmm. Mid-engine sand buggies. Now I figure a transaxle can take jumping over things and getting banged back and forth and probably deal with this. So right. I've been using, they've been using me as a test bed oh, nice. for street cars and right. I send it to them every two years. They tear it apart, yeah. freshen it up for me at no charge and send it back to me. Yeah, because a lot of the kit cars use the Porsche transaxle. They do. This one bolts right up to the LS yeah. engine, right up to it. Oh, Use nice. a Chevy flywheel, Chevy yeah. clutch. I got a lot of options. Right. And if something happens, at, you can buy the clutch. I can go down to Napa and pick up a clutch if right. I have to. That's pretty nice. So anything done to the motor or is it just basically just an intake? The, the motor is actually a, an LS3 crate motor from General Motors. Okay. Uh, it's nice because they have a 50,000 mile three year warranty when you buy them. Right. This one was rated at the factory at 535 horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, with the fuel injection system and the big tube headers, that's with their exhaust manifolds on it. Right. It makes about 550. Nice. Now, how much does the car weigh? Between 21 and 2200 pounds. Wow. That's, that's a that's, that's a nice weight. power to weight ratio. That's full right fuel. There. Right. That's about the same as a super bike, except I have air conditioning and I don't right. get wet when it rains. <laughs> I don't know if you want to drive this in the rain anyway. It's not much fun in the rain. <laughs> no, no. Um, 
So you auto cross the car. I auto cross it, track it. Track it. Mm -hmm. Where do you track it? Uh, Pocono Motor Speedway okay. and New Jersey Motorsport. Oh, nice. I've been to Poconos. That's a great track. I uh, love driving. I've been on three different tracks in Pocono. Yeah. I just, I've done the big, well, it's not the whole loop, but you do the, the north track. Yeah, where you're it has doing turn the three, stands. Turn three. Yes. Ooh, that is scary. Um, yeah, mine's about 165 down yeah. the back street. And if you're up top, you're like, oh man, this isn't good. And then it just <laughs> pulls you right down. It's pretty amazing. Just, just stay in it. Just, yeah. That's the big secret is don't panic. Just stay in it and keep right. pointing the car where you want it to go. How long did the interior take you to do? Because it's quite nice. Um, well, the interior, uh, the leather and the dash came from the factory. Okay. And then I had to glue it down. Okay. And cut it and trim it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's worked with leather, with uh, uh, glue, contact cement, yeah. it's a real bitch. Right. I mean, you can't, it's like you got to get it right the first time or mm -hmm. it's, it's wrong. Uh, it took some time. Uh, the seats are from the factory. Yeah. And then uh, I had... Uh, He's built and this made at, uh, to my specs at a poultry shop. Okay. You wired up all the gauges and everything. Everything you see, every nut, washer, rivet, screw, yeah. and wire you see, I put together. Wow, that is impressive. It started out as a two chassis. You've seen a sprint car. Mm -hmm. uh, you see a two chassis. That's right. what it looked like when it, when I started. It was just a bare two chassis and. When it showed up and you started unboxing it, were you a little intimidated? There was 33 boxes, about this big, full parts. Right. And uh, the Ultima Factory sends them all inside of bags uh -huh. with my name on it, my chassis number, yeah. and a description of what parts are in it. And they're like the hang bags where you put them on peg, yep. uh, pegs. Mm -hmm. My whole one side of my garage was looked like a, rip, a speed shop. Wow. There were just all these bags full of speed uh -huh. parts. It was great. <laughs> yeah. It was very fun. Now, you, you were telling me about the, the symbols that you made. Uh... The symbols are actually, I uh, only had one person dis decipher the code for my uh, hubcaps and my uh, hood ornament and my horn button. And that is the, the no speed limit sign on the Autobahn. If you take the U away from it, their, speed, their, their signs are round. Mm -hmm. And I figured it was a good, good match for the car. Yeah. Now, did you paint it or did it come yeah, painted? It, it comes gel coat. Um, okay. um, this is still the original gel coat on the back. It's right back here. Oh yeah. You can see it's taped to here. Mm -hmm. um, I had a little mishap at Pocono. Mm -hmm. uh, locked up the front brake. Uh, at the end of the day, the, everything was hot, and yeah. I wanted to do one more lap. Mm -hmm. If ever you were on the track and you want to do that one more lap, don't do it. Because uh, I was tired. It was the end of the day. It was the third session, right. and I came down one straight away. Hit the brakes. The right front tire locked up. Uh -huh. It was a left hand turn. Left off. Hit him again. The right front tire locked up. So it was either turn it in sideways and spit it out into the grass, uh -huh. or take it straight in. I took it straight in. Caught a berm. Mm -hmm. Crushed the front fiberglass. Uh -huh. And um, there's no real good matching gel right. coat. So painted the whole car. Oh yeah. So it looks good though. Yeah, uh, it has been, it's been since then glass coated, mm -hmm. so it, it, it's easy to take care of. Yeah. Just take your hose, just hose it down. and I take a leaf blower and blow the water. Alright, so we're going to go for a ride, and he's probably going to scare me, because I guarantee this thing is fast and takes corners. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be kind to him. Alright. Oh, Come on, get in there. Get both legs in before you sit down. There you go. Woo. This is tight. You ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready.
like to thank Jerry for taking me for a ride, letting us do a review. And if you got a fast car like Jerry, you better bring it. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna leave a couple more videos that if you like this one and you made it all the way to the end, you're gonna definitely like these. So watch them. Also, that middle button right there, I think it's probably, you know, somewhere in there. Hit that button to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more action.